If you've been working with Power Automate for any time at all, you've probably implemented a flow that starts with a condition action that tests for the value of an attribute and then terminates the flow if certain conditions are not met. For example, let's assume we're using the SharePoint list to manage employee status, including offboarding. We want the solution to kick off the offboarding process when the value of separate is set to pending, but we don't want the process to execute when any other field is changed. To accomplish this, we would typically use a structure like what we see here. The main issue with this approach is that this flow is going to trigger every time an item in the list is edited and will count against the user's run quota. On a list in which items are t updated frequently, this can add up very quickly and the situation gets even worse if there are multiple flows that are triggered by an update. Fortunately, in late 2019, Microsoft quietly introduced a new trigger setting that allows conditions to be tested within the flow's trigger. If this condition isn't met, the flow is not executed and will not account against the user's flow quota. The structure you see here uses a new trigger condition setting. Note that this structure eliminates the initial condition action. To access these settings, simply click on the Triggers Ellipse menu, select Settings, Scroll down to Trigger Conditions and click Add. Note that I have implemented a condition that will only allow the flow to proceed if the value of separated is pending. This condition has the same effect as the standard condition structure we saw earlier, but is simpler and doesn't count against the user's flow run quota. I found this new functionality very useful in solving a number of tricky situations. I hope you will as well.